What's up tech family? This is Josh Our Tech, and on this video, I'm gonna talk about my favorite VS Code extensions, and I absolutely love them, and let me show you why. The first one that I wanna talk about, actually, I'm gonna just call this a combo. I love using Git History Diff, and I like to pair this one with Git Blame. And let me show you why, because over here, let's say for example, I'm looking at some, some code, and let's say I wanna know if you at your job or if you're working on open source, anything like that, you, you're just working on some code and you're working with somebody else. Let's say you wanna figure out who did something or figure out when was this code written. The good thing about Git History Diff is that it tells you how long it was, which is has me right here, and it tells you who wrote the code. And then from there, you can use Git Blame right here at the bottom and you can click that and then click view and then literally it will take you directly to exactly when this person submitted uh, their pull request for it to go to the master branch. And it shows you everything, which is really good. And I highly recommend this because they just go hand in hand together and then make your workflow so much easier so you can pinpoint exactly where this happened and how you can make the adjustments accordingly so that your website can look efficient. Those two are my combo. I absolutely love using those two on a day-to-day -day basis and it helps me a whole lot so I don't have to guess. And even when you know this, like let's say you're knowing this part about who wrote the code last, like if they are your coworkers or anybody that you know, you can just directly reach out to them instead of guessing and wondering who wrote that code. And they can kind of give you an understanding of why they wrote it. And then you can just come together and make the code better and do what you need to do to get the job done. So this is very helpful. Another extension I really enjoy is the Rainbow Brackets extension. And I'm gonna show you why. And I'm fairly new to this one. I found this one from a, another YouTuber, but this one is very, very helpful. The rainbow brackets extension is a really good extension because it shows you exactly what brackets are connected to each other. And you see how the coloring is different between this one and this one. That's because it colors it for you, whether you're a global or local scope, it works very well to show you exactly what you're doing uh, and making sure that the scopes, the brackets are, it's an open bracket and it's a closing bracket. And that's really the key is making sure that you know where your open bracket is and your closing bracket is because sometimes you can write code and you do that and then it'd be in the wrong area in your code and it doesn't show when you're coding it. And that's because you put it in the wrong place or your brackets are outside of the scope. So this is very, very helpful to see exactly where you are, where your brackets, your open brackets and closed brackets are, and you can really be effective with this. And the last one that I wanna show you all that's one of my favorites is the code spell checker. This one is very simple, but at the end of the day, it is very effective. And I'm gonna show you all right here, one of the examples. So you can see that somebody spelled value wrong, first value, and all it does is just correct your spelling to make sure you spell it right because it, almost just like Google. You know how Google just corrects you all the time and make sure that you spell it right. Same thing in your code because you want to make sure you spell things right so people are not thinking that you wrote something crazy or you can't spell. Let's make sure that we write in our, make sure we have our grammar correct so that people can read our code correctly, especially when writing comments. It's just important. So those are my four favorite VS Code extensions so far. They get the job done, makes my workflow much easier as a developer and i hope you all enjoyed this video espero que tengas un buen día nos vemos